Welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klent and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this tutorial session by taking a brief look at the Firebird command line utilities, backup and restore, and the database sweep. The most important Firebird binaries are the following. They can all be found in the Firebird bin directory. FB guard. This is the guardian and monitors the server process. Should the server go down for whatever reason, the guardian automatically restarts it. This can be replaced by Windows if wished. Although if the Firebird service goes down, it means something has gone wrong and you may want to first investigate why by studying the log file. If you automatically restart the server, by the time you found the problem, the database has moved on. It's better to decide straight away upon discovering the problem how to proceed with the database, whether to regress or what action to take. FB server is the Firebird super server binary. FB init server is the Firebird classic server binary. GBAC is the backup and restore tool. GFIX is the repair and maintenance tool. GSEC is the command line security tool to add, modify and delete authorized users. GSTAT is the statistic tool at command line level. We took a look at the statistic tool in an earlier tutorial using IB Expert. You can call up the database statistics in IB Expert, which display a tabular summary of all tables, indices, etc. Here you can see which tables are the largest. This allows you to analyze the whole database. For example, how many record versions are there in the most commonly used tables? ISQL. We've already taken a brief look at ISQL, which is Firebird's interactive SQL tool. NBackup is a specialized backup tool, allowing you to make an incremental backup useful if you have a very large database. But why is a database backup and restore important? Performing regular backups protects from hardware failures and data corruption, which cannot be fixed by the Firebird or Interbase maintenance tools. It is important to use the Firebird backup and restore facilities, even though most networks include a facility for data backup and restore across the network, because operating system backups require exclusive access to the database. The Firebird backup runs parallel with concurrent database accesses by other users. Firebird uses its multi-generational architecture to take a snapshot of the database at a moment in time for the backup. All information generated by committed transactions and present at this moment is backed up. All files in a multi-file database are backed up. Firebird comprehends the links between the different database files and shadows. The operating system backup processes files one after the other and saves them to the specified file or medium so that all the various files are backed up in different versions and they cannot work together correctly anymore when restored. The Firebird backup backs up all database files automatically. The different versions of Firebird use different database file formats so that it is impossible to copy a file directly from one operating system environment to the required format of another operating system environment. The Firebird backup utility allows a transportable backup format so that this file can be restored on any desired Firebird platform. Please note, when backing up and restoring, for example from Interbase 4 to Firebird 1.5, stored procedures are restored as blobs so that they may not initially work. The Firebird backup discards outdated datasets and index files, resulting in a smaller backup file. This cleaning up of the database is known as garbage collection. Empty pages are also automatically removed during a backup and restore, which reduces the total database size. The transaction number in the tip is reset to zero. The total number of transactions that can be recorded in a tip is approximately 1.3 billion. The cache works with considerably more efficiency following a backup and restore as the pages are reordered. During a Firebird backup, the integrity and references for all database objects, for example, domains, tables, indices, views, triggers, procedures, generators, exceptions and permissions are checked. Executing a backup and restore is the only way to subsequently alter fundamental parameters in the database structure, such as the page size and distribution across secondary files. It is therefore recommended to not only backup, but also restore the database regularly, for example, once a month. A further reason for a backup and restore becoming necessary is if you alter the structure of any single fiber table 255 times that is, added and deleted fields, in order to reset the metadata counter. 
Each table in a Fiber database has its own metadata changes counter. The metadata of each table can be altered 255 times, which includes adding or removing columns, changing field types, etc. This limitation is because Firebird sets an internal one-byte flag which is stored alongside each dataset representing the so-called record structure version. For example, you have 1,000 datasets in a table with five fields. You extend the table to six fields and then add a further 1,000 datasets. The old first 1,000 datasets are not revised at all, but are still stored with the old data structure, unless you have instructed the server to set the data content of the six field for these old datasets at null or a specified default value. If this new field is created with a not null constraint, these old fields will all need to be updated. The internal flag simply ensures that a maximum of 255 such changes are possible. When any of these counters reaches the value of 255, it is not possible to alter any tables any further and a database backup and restore is necessary. The backup and restore ensure that all datasets are now stored with the current single valid record structure and you can continue to make further table alterations. IB Expert indicates in the status bar how many changes may be made in the table with the lowest value in the database, for example 253 changes of table, table name, left, before being forced to perform a database backup and restore. Should you have any problems performing a backup and restore, use the IBE Expert function Extract Metadata. In this way, you can generate a script of the whole database and then work through the script step by step until you encounter the error or errors. Database Sweep The database sweep starts the garbage collection, which looks at each individual data page and decides which record versions are still valid and which can be removed. On large databases, this may take some time, as it works through the whole database, touching every page, which of course causes performance degradation. The best way to perform a sweep is using GFIX, starting explicitly at some quiet time during the night. Users can still work on a database during a sweep. They will, however, notice that the system is slower. The sweep interval can be defined in GFIX or IB Expert. A database sweep is also done with the backup process if not disabled. The sweep interval allows you to start a sweep on a specific interval between the oldest and the next transaction or a multiple of that value. Then the database sweep is started automatically. The Firebird server automatically goes through and checks everything. However, this tends to happen when you least need it to. Therefore, it is better to set the sweep interval to zero and start the sweep explicitly each night. Although if you have programmed your transactions well, you will probably never reach this default figure of 20,000, so the sweep will never be started automatically. If you're not aware of this problem, you will at some stage wonder why your server slows down at random periods. We'll take a closer look at GFIX in a later tutorial in this series. So that was our introduction to Fiber's command line tools. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next tutorial in our series for DB admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Thank you.